So I'm sure a lot of us when growing up watched a lot of modded Minecraft, and I remember a lot of popular YouTubers like Stampy, Popular MMOs, and DanTDM making very cool modded videos. Now I'm sure a lot of people are now getting Java Edition and want to know how to install mods for their game to make it a lot better. Well, if so, you came to the right place, and in this video I will be going over a safe and easy tutorial on how to install mods for Minecraft, so without further ado, let's get straight into this video. So the first thing we'll be taking a look at is how to install Java. So Java is an easy to use program that makes it a lot easier to install Minecraft mods. So this basically makes it so Forge and all the mods you install can actually work properly when playing Minecraft. So the first thing you want to do when installing Java is go to your preferred web browser and search up Java and click on the first thing that pops up. It should be called Java Oracle. I will also have a link in the description. When installing Minecraft mods I recommend using an ad blocker seeing as it makes the process a whole lot easier. Simply click on download Java and you should be navigated to this page. Simply press download Java again and the download should start. Once installed, open your file explorer and double click on the file and run the installation process. Setting it up is pretty easy and once you've done that you've just completed step 1 to installing Minecraft mods. Step 2 is just as simple, go to your web browser and type in forge installer or go to the link in the description below and this should pop up. Click on the first link that pops up and it should navigate you to this website. Once you're brought here, locate what version of Minecraft you are currently playing on. One cool thing about Forge is that you can go back to older Minecraft, so that's pretty cool. Once you've figured out what version you're going to use, simply click the install and you'll be relocated to this website. Ignore everything and just press the skip button and it should begin the installation. Once installed, double click on the Forge installer and it should take you to this screen. All you're going to want to do now is check install client and press ok and it will begin installing Forge. Once the installation is complete it should say this and that means you have correctly installed Forge. Now you can start installing mods for Minecraft. So the next thing you want to do is restart or open your Minecraft launcher and go to installations. Once you've done that you should see the new Forge version. Click on the folder icon and it should bring you up to the main Minecraft directory. The next step is pretty simple. All you're going to want to do is create a new folder called mods in all lowercase. This is going to be the place where you put all your mods that you install. To make things easier when reinstalling or installing mods for Minecraft, I'd recommend creating a shortcut and dragging it to your main desktop so you can access the mods folder a lot easier. Finally, you can start installing mods. Find a mod that you want to install to your game and download it from CurseForge. While there are a lot of other modding websites, I'd recommend using CurseForge seeing as it is the safest. From there, all you're going to want to do is drag it into your mod folder that you created in the main Minecraft directory. Next we're going to be taking a look at how to install Optifine. So Optifine brings many features such as being able to zoom in, install shaders, and it really helps with performance. So the first thing you want to do when installing Optifine is look up Optifine in your preferred web browser and click on the first thing or go to the link in the description. Once you've done that, click on the Downloads tab. Once you go to the Downloads tab, find the version of Minecraft you are playing on and simply install it from there. Double click on Optifine and run the installation process as normally. Once you finish the download, Optifine will be located in your installations in your main Minecraft launcher. Now if you want to be able to use Optifine and the Forge launcher at the same time, all you have to do is drag Optifine into the mods folder that you created. And finally, you can start installing shaders now. So Optifine makes installing shaders a very easy process. Now if you didn't know what shaders are, shaders are something that makes the game look pretty realistic and are similar to EMBs. Although one thing that is similar between an EMB and a shader is that they are both very hard on your performance. So when installing a shader, I recommend you get a shader that your computer can handle. Now there are a lot of different shaders that you can choose from, but I'd recommend using BSL shaders. So installing shaders is pretty similar to installing mods. All you want to do is find the shader you want to install, click on the version that you are using, and simply press the download button. From there, all you want to do is drag the shader that you just installed into your shader packs folder in your main Minecraft directory. Now some of you might not have a shader packs folder in your main Minecraft directory, and if so, there's an easy fix to this. The first thing you want to do is open Minecraft. Once you're on Minecraft, go to Options, Video Settings, Shaders, and once you're on Shaders at the bottom of your screen, you should see a shader folder option which you can click on and it will open and create a shader folder for you. Simply drag the shader that you just installed into your shader folder and boom you have just installed your first shader. Do the same thing when installing a texture pack for Minecraft except this time drag it into the resource pack folder. 
If the resource pack folder does not appear, do the same thing you did with the shaders. Now that everything is installed properly, simply load up a Minecraft world and make sure everything is working. If you guys run into any issues, simply leave a comment and I'd be happy to help. But as you can see, having shaders on versus having shaders off has a very big difference on Minecraft's graphics. Now again, when installing shaders, there are a lot of different options, but I'd recommend using BSL. But if you can't handle BSL, I'd recommend using Makeup Ultra Fast. And if you're curious in the game plan, I'm using Sora shaders. Anyways, that is going to be it for this video. If you found it helpful, please consider subscribing, leaving a like, and turn on notifications. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.